Live from Dallas and Fort Worth, this is CBS 11 News at 6. The ones for Texas. For him to be on in the next uh, part of his life is probably exciting for him, and I would think that that's a good thing. Cowboys fans wishing quarterback Tony Romo well today. Number nine retiring from football this afternoon as a single tweet from Romo reveals the next chapter of his life. It includes CBS. Tony Romo, as you probably know by now, going to become the lead NFL game analyst for CBS. He'll be part of the network's number one football team. That includes Jim Nance, of course, and Tracy Wolfson. Our Bill Jones starts our coverage at the Cowboys World Headquarters in Frisco tonight. Yes, after uh, months of speculation, Doug and Kaylee, the Cowboys finally make it official about mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock this afternoon, as they officially release Tony Romo. Jerry Jones saying, quote, we did what he asked us to do in terms of his release. He asked for his release to pursue this broadcasting opportunity with CBS Sports. And check out the scene here outside the Ford Center in the plaza area, a tribute to number nine on the video boards here in the plaza. Tony Romo, as you mentioned, tweeting out a picture of himself in a CBS Sports blazer about 1.30 this afternoon. That was the first tip-off, and by mid-afternoon, he was on a CBS Sports conference call where it was announced Romo will replace Phil Simms alongside Jim Nance on CBS number one NFL broadcast team. Spending more time with his growing family played a major role in his decision, and there were other reasons, too. I do like the aspect of being able to spend time with your kid. But uh, that wasn't just the only reason. You know, that was part of it. Health was a little part of it. But part of it was just, you know, the closer I got, the more it, it's an exciting opportunity to have the ability to go to CBS. And that, that started to play a big role. It's the way I felt. The Cowboys designate Tony Romo a June 1st cut, so there is salary cap ramifications as $14 million will be available for the Cowboys to use as far as their payroll is concerned come June 1st. The voice of the Cowboys, Brad Sham, who helped transition Troy Aikman into the broadcast booth on how tough a transition it will be for Tony Romo coming up a little bit later in sports, Doug and Kaylee. Looking forward to that, Bill. Thank you. And his now former teammates showing their respect and admiration for Romo. In his Instagram post, Ezekiel Elliott saying, you took me under your wing and made it your job to give me a better understanding of this game to make sure I continue to maximize my potential. Appreciate you, brother. Romo's retirement, the talk of sports radio here in North Texas. I think it's awesome that it's like a Cinderella, not the Cinderella story, but kind of riding off into the sunset sort of thing for us. CBS station 105.3, the fan on FM. We listened in on some of the calls that came in today. A lot of people, honestly, are pretty relieved that Romo decided to retire, based on what we heard. The hosts think the decision involved Romo's health and his family. He and his wife, Candace, are expecting their third child later on this year. Tony Romo does join a long list of Cowboys to make the move from the gridiron, who are currently in the broadcast booth. Wide receiver Michael Irvin and defensive star Deion Sanders both work for the NFL Network. Quarterback Troy Aikman. Fullback Daryl Johnson and coach Jimmy Johnson are at Fox. Darren Woodson at ESPN. All six part of the Cowboys championship run in the 90s. Quarterback Babe Laufenberg, as you know, was our sports anchor at CBS 11 after his playing days. He's a member of the Cowboys radio broadcast team on CBS radio station 105.3 The Fan. And defensive standout from the 70s and 80s, Randy White, is part of our Cowboys game day coverage on CBS 11. And as we welcome Tony Romo to the CBS team, much more coverage in sports, including reaction from the Cowboys' current quarterback, Dak Prescott. Let's talk. And tonight we welcome Tony Romo to the CBS team as the lead football analyst on the number one team with Jim Nance and Tracy Wolfson. Plenty of Cowboys news, of course, to talk about with our Bill Jones, who's live for us at Cowboys World Headquarters in Frisco tonight. Bill? He, he leaves the Cowboys team and joins the CBS 11 team, sort of. Uh, he also leaves the Cowboys number one in passer rating all time, number one in completion percentage, number one in passing yards, number one in passing touchdowns. But in 10 years as a starting quarterback, Tony Romo only had two playoff wins. Who would have thought Romo's career would take this kind of twist prior to the third preseason game last August in Seattle when he went down with that back injury, opening the door for Dak Prescott to have a rookie of the year type season after weighing possible non-guaranteed opportunities with teams like the Texans Romo decides now is the time to accept CBS Sports offer to replace Phil Simms alongside Jim Nance on CBS number one NFL broadcast team in a conference call Romo expressed appreciation for Jerry Jones. 
Jerry was amazing during this. I know sometimes it didn't maybe look like it from the outside. You know, the stuff that he said publicly about, uh, you know, doing me right, he really did. And I really, uh, I've never had a better boss, you know, owner, mentor, you know, than Jerry Jones and, and how much he's meant to me and, uh, and how much he'll mean to me going forward because he'll always be in my life and I think I'll always be in this. Tony Romo literally indebted to Jerry Jones by releasing Romo today. Uh, the Cowboys could have held him to uh, paying back $5 million in bonus money, but he doesn't have to do that now. Romo follows a long line of Cowboys quarterbacks who have gone straight to a network TV broadcast booth. Of course, Troy Aikman is the top analyst at Fox Sports. Dandy Don Meredith was an iconic fixture next to Howard Cosell on ABC's Monday Night Football for years as well. Well, and even Roger Staubach spent some time in the CBS booth alongside Frank Gleber after he retired. The voice of the Cowboys, Brad Sham, believes Romo has what it takes to succeed as he replaces Phil Simms at CBS. He's hot right now. And um, I, I, I don't want to, I hate to break this to him and his family, but the television business likes hot. And so this opportunity is here now, and that does not mean it will ever come back again. So it was with age, injury factor, family, really prudent, smart decision to take it now, I think. Romo's now former teammates reacting on social media. Dak Prescott on Instagram says thank you for the advice on and off the field to making plays. I'll never forget there were plenty of unforgettable plays. And for those in the media who were here for the duration of his 10 years as the starting quarterback, Romo left quite an impression. This is 14 years he's been with this organization. I think there's only three guys that have been with the Cowboys longer than Romo. Witten will become the fourth guy though this year when he when he's back on his extension. So there's not been a lot of guys that have played for this organization longer than Tony Romo. So I think that was special to him. More on Tony Romo joining us at CBS coming up at 10 plus Rangers Indians highlights. More CBS 11 news in a moment.